against I am waiting to leave. Very good result for us. Now look at the game now. And we actually can use chess base to figure out what, what are the correct ones are. <coughs> Yeah, so I thought about uh, playing the uh, exchange variation here because we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But you know, I didn't. I decided you know I don't really know all the sidelines that well. I didn't study it, so I figured I'd just play the main line. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I actually mentioned this to the audience. I was proud of you, but you didn't go for the exchange. Yeah. <laughs> so I was hoping he would play knight c6 because uh, if he did that, I was going to play uh, you know line I've been looking at knight c6. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that, that seven is a bit of a sideline, right? No, nah, I mean ninety six is the main move, but ninety seven and ninety six are are really common too. But uh, so taking is the main move. Yeah, I I thought about taking here. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, you know, I did, but I knew bishop b three was the main move, so I just went ahead and played it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. twenty five. Yeah, I was thinking here that. You know, normally black comes with f5 in the king's Indian, and if he comes with f5, like after the pawn center, he gets locked. His rook is not ideally placed on e8, so that seems kind of an argument for for playing d5 in this position. I mean, I, I'm sure I could also take on e5, uh, and I thought about doing that just because I figured a draw would be a good result here. But d5 seemed the most critical, so I played it. Yeah, and he played uh, knight h5, so it's all main line there. So yeah. Uh, G3 is the most popular move here, followed by rook E1 and knight E1. So what did you do? You played, you played B4. Yeah, so that's almost never been played. <clears throat> yeah, only a couple of games White actually lost both, it appears. But it's a pretty thematic idea, it seems. Yeah, I figured I'd play kind of similar to bayonet variation. Mm -hmm. G3 is pretty thematic, also to keep the knight out of the court. Yeah, so Black played A5, this game between uh, Grandmaster Turek against yeah. Baladan. Yeah, I was going to take on a5, they did that, and then play knight b2, b3. Yeah, so a couple of strong gems played already on the ball now. So, knight f4 is a novelty. You move. c5. f5. And here I was really surprised that you didn't capture the queen. Yeah, I was looking at this quite a bit because uh, one idea is. Uh, oh, by the way, there's some of the tactics like I wanted to show earlier, like uh, if. Instead of rook c1, mm -hmm. and I almost fell into that. If I play knight d2 here, mm -hmm. he can play knight takes g2. Yeah. And then f4. So there, there's some tricks here. Wow. So rook c1. Yeah, I mean, after rook c1, I didn't even see knight takes e2 check uh, because it just seemed kind of not that thematic to exchange an outpost to knight that he's moved so many times for mm -hmm. a bishop that's not doing too much. But I mean I guess the idea is if I capture the queen, then he can play pawn tap four. And when I play bishop d2, he can take on c5. He can just win the pawn. Yeah, b takes, knight takes c5, knight b5, <coughs> b6, bishop b4, knight a6. I mean I wasn't really sure what was going on here, but I figured like if I play bishop a3, you know, he might be able to play bishop f8. Then if he trades those bishops and gets his knight back to c5. I wasn't totally sure what was going on here. This oh. looks kind of good for white, it seems. You know, yeah. Even though you're down in bonds, a little dainty, yeah, it looks so, so dangerous. Well, it might have been playable. The other thing I was looking at is uh, after f4, instead of going bishop d2, I mean, this was kind of crazy, going c takes d. And then if he goes f takes e3, I go d takes c7, mm -hmm. he goes e takes f check. Queen takes f2. Oh, now he plays queen c7. I play knight b5, followed by knight c7. I thought that was kind of dynamic for me. You know, I didn't mind it. Uh, but he can play queen d. I mean, he can play queen f6 here. And I didn't know if I really had enough for the piece I stack. I kind of thought probably not. You know, because I wasn't even sure it would be that easy to get my other pawn to d6. So I just, I just decided I didn't want to play something this unclear against you know someone so strong. C6 is bad, right? I, I, I didn't look at C6. Yeah. Okay. So, so I figured I'd, I would play knight takes. Yeah, I mean, F4 I thought was a good move. 
And I was surprised that he didn't play knight, knight f6. Yeah, I was really expecting knight f6 in this position. But I like this, the way he played it. Yeah, so h3, aren't you like inviting g5, g4 here? Well, I mean, my thought was that his plan is going to be to play g5, g4 pretty soon here. And I need to kind of set up some defense against that, because if I just do nothing, he could even be threatening f3 in a lot of lines. So I, I, I played h3 with the idea of knight h2, but I didn't really like my position in here. What if you just play b5? Yeah, I mean, I guess he would play g5, probably. Try to do something on the queen side. Yeah, now it's too late. But it's important to put queen c2 so he has to play rook e7, so he can't play g5 so easily. What's it do here? Yeah, I think so. I don't think you should allow you to play queen c7. Although now, when you play b5, you can't play g5. Yeah, that makes sense. Because rook e7, that slows down g5 a lot. Right. Maybe you play rook e7 here, but it, it does slow down as a factor yeah. And then I could try that b5 idea. Yeah. Yeah, so if he prefers it, yeah. okay, bishop b4. He might only have h4. I didn't ever like h4 just because of bishop g4. It just seemed annoying. Yeah, I mean, truth be told, I wasn't really like sure how I was going to necessarily break through. Just forget about it and try to put a knight on c4, perhaps. Yeah, knight d2. That's where it was. Yeah. Interesting. Knight c4. Yeah. I was I'm waiting. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what's interesting. Looks like black might do too slow. Yeah, lock yeah, pressure d6. No, you just go knight g3. Mm -hmm. I mean, I suppose you could play rook f7 and rook f6 there, but I, I don't know. It seems like it's better for me than what happened in the game. Yeah, of course it still looks interesting. Yeah. Each is already defensive. It's good. A3 probably wasn't that good. So a6, yeah. But he also made a lot of moves that were kind of slow. Like, I expected him to just go for it with g5 and h5 and what. Did that yeah. surprise you, a6? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It really surprised me that he just focused on shutting down my queen side play and didn't come on the king side. Right. I mean, not that there was anything wrong with what he did. It worked out pretty well for him. Mm -hmm. So a4, bishop b7. a5. Yeah. And after a5, don't you like give up all your light squares? And, um, I, I personally, I, I, know, I, I did not like that position very much because of the light squares. Yeah, I didn't really see any other way to activate my attack though. You know, I, I felt like I needed to get a knight to b6. Yeah, and like, but Knight got there, but it wasn't really doing much. Yeah, I mean, here I, I felt like I was just kind of waiting for the axe to fall, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, like, Ouch. Yeah. I just kind of figured, well, I, I think if I just sit here, uh, he's going to gradually run me down, so I have to try to lash out, maybe he'll blunder. You know, I don't think he had to take on G3. I mean, not that it was necessarily that bad, but... Yeah, that was a shock. Yeah, I mean, he lets my bishop come to e3 and start playing again, which kind of surprised me a little. How long ahead were you thinking of g4? I mean, he played that surprise for me. He must have had that in mind for a while. 10 minutes. No, 10 minutes was, was not. 11 minutes. It's right here at the time. You have 31 minutes, and you have 20 after that point. Yeah, I mean, I just looked at playing kind of passively, and it just didn't seem that attractive, so I just figured I would try something. But, yeah, I mean, I guess he could just take on g4, for instance, and I thought that if he did that and then just maneuvered for a while, I couldn't do too much, mm -hmm. you know? And I thought he could gradually strengthen his position. Yeah, but, um, G6, but G6, yeah. and Rook H8. Yeah, he could try something like that. Yeah. But th this I felt like I was playing a little again. He already Rook F8, Bishop B3, Queen F6, Knight D2. Yeah, I mean, Queen G6 I think is best for him, I like that. So what about like Bishop D3 here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, you're lying on d7, but I suppose he could... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so first queen g6. Like, yeah, I figured it, that was the best move. Now this, I, I thought he might play knight f6 here, but it really surprised me that he did it, because I, I, I think he just must have missed knight c8. I don't, yeah, this is a great move. I don't see why he would have went into this otherwise. And I think, like, here, knight takes d5 is his only move. If he doesn't play that, I think he's worse. Yeah, actually, nobody here in the audience saw this move, but you only spent 10 seconds on it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I was thinking, I hope he plays knight f6 here because it's such a natural move. You know? I mean, and so then he did it. I'm surprised you didn't, like, did you consider, like, rook c1 here at all? 
I'm not sure if it's good, but this line seems to be crazy. So he takes, he check. Um, he seven. He has seven. Uh, I don't know if you have like queen c7 here. I didn't look at this at all. But <coughs> so let's just try it for the sake of argument. So where does the queen go? You, you can pick up at knight now. E6. I have six? E6. Uh, e6. You can pick up at knight. Um, well, no, knight of five. Knight of five just wins on g7. Yeah. Let's check me. So, no, he has bishop g7. Right, right. Uh, okay, okay. So yeah, so queen to queen to seven on the move. Now you can recapture on e three. What's what's going on here? Because, uh, you 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 down the pawn at the moment, but you <coughs> developed a lot of activity. Right. Something else there. Too. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how about it's certainly possible. Uh, uh, how about uh, and then the okay. line you said uh, is to take line? on g six and then take on f eight. Yeah, just and the other possibility is this line. And uh, we're looking at it a little bit. So here it appears in Ida's trap. You, of course, have an H7 and King G6. King G6, right? Yeah, King G6, right? Okay. Yeah. So it looks like this one you have to roll. Yeah, King G6. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. 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 Yeah, yeah. let Okay, black is better. Black is half a pawn. Uh, you let it think a little bit. Uh, let it think. Yeah, so rook's 2 on, minus 0.6. Hmm. Minus 0.6. Yeah, but I fear it's so complicated. It might be working. Yes. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I wasn't going to try this with just a few minutes left on my clock, but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I didn't even look at it, to be honest. Yeah, so the, the variation is minus minus half a pawn, but you're down a whole pawn, so it basically means you have half a pawn of compensation due to the activity. But it's just like swings the dynamic of the game in a totally different direction, yeah. where it has to be an offensive. So this is quite quite an interesting try. Uh, because your knight gets such an excellent square on a five, and you can just stay there all, all game long. Computer thinks it's fine as half and half. But that's yeah, certainly interesting. That yeah, I, definitely. I, I, was, I was a bit surprised it just like instantly will clean the agree because I thought it was a little interesting try. But I guess you didn't want to get into time trouble, so I can Yeah, I mean, that. I, I thought queen b3 would get me back to pawn. I mean, I, I really thought it was almost forced. I didn't see that yeah. at the line. So here bishop c6. Yeah, because I will go back. back. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I didn't have to play knight up. Three. I was looking at queen takes e7, but then rook f8 seemed fine for him. Yeah. Uh, I did, didn't see how it activated my knight then. So that's what I want to do knight f3 instead. And here, I mean, I think he has to find bishop c6. I think if he doesn't, he's yeah. lost maybe. I think knight f3 was a great one. And then here, uh, what about rook e3? Uh, I didn't like that because of e4. And then if I trade, I just didn't see how to save my queen side one. Hangers. Oh, yeah. Hangers. Oh, yeah. 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 You had five minutes here on Kilford to your draw. Curious to see what the computer thinks. Yeah. I think White's almost winning here, yeah? E2, E3? The computer thinks that. I was going to play Bishop E3. Yeah, so see, the computer, computer only gives a very small advantage here, only half. Yeah. It just seemed like really unclear. Unless yeah. you were short of time, you know, he was taking advantage yeah. of that. Yeah, so, yeah, so we. we, we What's the line? Just the most of us seem to overestimate your advantage here. Well, you have to let the run a little while So with D3, it is it's okay, five, yeah. right? Yes. So it's not. Let's just play together. So I mean, I would have played B5 here. You would have played B5. That's what I would have played. And A6. A6. Rook A3. Rook A3. A6. 
Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Uh, looks like he might have. This is what I played against Alberto. Yeah. Some kind of. And there was a rock would have been my king. Rock 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 rock. Rock. He needs to win. Wow. Thanks for winning. He just jumped up. Yeah, hey, Gary, Gary doesn't like he doesn't like the idea. What what other we play? We play okay three. The computer does not like that one. Okay. He likes special people. Oh. Okay. Which of course he has yet to find. Yeah, I mean, I were taken obviously. I seven okay four. So now he stops you. You need to be Yeah, But of course, if he doesn't find bishop d4, then he will have a chance. Yeah. yeah. This is this is dead draw. Who be fine? Yeah, I would have played rook d5 here. It's what's your option? Yeah. So it's all zeros. But the yeah, the thing is, like, you probably have not no risk here. Well, I mean, I with the computer running, I can say no risk. You know, but <laughs> with two minutes on my clock, I wasn't really sure. <laughs> yeah, bishop, you, bishop, you, you saw bishop over there, right? Yeah, I saw that. And you probably would have seen d5. Yeah, the first you would have seen this, right? You would have seen this. I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, the, these moves are easy to find for white. I mean, yeah. King f4. Yeah, so, so, so it looks like uh, we're going to have King f4. But yeah, I mean, he would have had more chance to go wrong than me, it looks like. Yeah, so he just pushes his b pawn, he pushes your g pawn. What? What? What are you told, zero? Oh, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, one said draw is just like basically anything draws here. Okay. okay. What do you guys want me to do if this sort of situation comes up again? Should I try for a win? No, no, no. It was, it was <laughs> a decision. Nobody can fault you for going either way because he would have found this. He would have had to find yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, sure. You assume it's justified and it will be completely fine with your plan on as well. You know, just. And we're still undefeated. Yeah, yeah I, I figured that was the main thing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>